Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I hope you all are having an excellent day. Now, before I get started, this is a special announcement. Watch after this video, and I will fill you in on the details. But uh, I will be doing a full reading soon. Very, very soon I will give you the details coming up. But uh, it'll be coming later on in the video, so you so hang in there. All right. I was working on cleaning off my desk. Finally, and I ran across this deck of tarot cards that I had been working on. I I got them like last year, and never really had the nerve to use them because I always keep wanting to fall back to that one original basic deck that I've been reading since I was sixteen. And once you get hooked on something, it's hard to, to break the ties, I guess. But I just need to shuffle these for a while till it feels right. And I will pull you all a card. And I picked these cards. I thought these cards are kind of mysterious looking. And... With the new year coming, who knows what that will bring. Hopefully something good. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay. You have the Two of Swords. When we see the Two of Swords in a reading, we are encountering a stalemate. Two equal and opposing forces are joined in battle, and there seems to be no end in sight. This wasn't what you had in mind when you chanced to walk down this path and you find yourself caught in the middle. Without something or someone to intervene, this may continue indefinitely. We find ourselves in a situation where we must, must make a choice. We can side with one part of the situation or we can side with the other. Neither seems particularly appealing, which makes the decision even more difficult. But unless we move past the stalemate, there can be no more progress. The Two of Swords is often related to balance and partnership. It signifies the need to keep your relationships balanced. Regardless if it is in business, friendship, or romantic relationship, you may find yourself struggling to maintain the current state of affairs, and you may find yourself caught in the middle. In regards to your work, you may currently be stuck in limbo and are perhaps waiting on another party's decision. Remain patient and avoid pressuring people and making their decision abruptly. The Two of Swords meaning may depict a warning to have caution. You should avoid evading any issues you are facing since it will not solve your problem. In love, if you're single, you may find it difficult to move ahead in your love life. The Two of Swords Tarot love meaning suggests being stuck between decisions. Are you attempting to choose between two lovers or love and other aspects of your life? It seems like your options are equally appealing. And instead of being an active participant in your life choices, you may be attempting to avoid a choice altogether. Be careful that the world doesn't make your choice for you. If you're in a relationship, something may perhaps block you and your partner from resolving your problem. The Two of Swords Tarot Love Meeting also indicates a stalemate of sorts. 
It is not the time to ignore problems, but speak together carefully to find a common compromise. In careers, you may find yourself stuck in the middle of a work conflict. This can come in the form of having to side with one colleague or another. All you want to do is remain impartial. Choosing one person over the other can create tension and rifts, and you may be worried about damaging your relationships with them. Sometimes a card can mean you are trying to choose between two jobs or career paths. The Two of Swords can sometimes also suggest that you don't have all the information you need to make your choice yet. If you still have time, use it to research and get the answers you need. And finally, financially, are you avoiding something when it comes to money right now? This card suggests that you may be in denial about your financial situation, and you may find it easier to avoid looking up your finances completely. If you took the effort to look clearly, you may find that you have to make some tough choices. Maybe you wanted that new designer dress, as well as a new laptop, but a clearer view of your bank account can show that you can only afford one right now. Whatever the situation is, just make sure you view it clearly and rationally. And guys, that better be a nice dress. Let me tell you that. <laughs> anyway, so there you have it. Hope that applies to you all in some way, shape, or form. So now for the big announcement, drum roll. Yes, I will be doing a full reading. If you want to have a reading done, please comment in the description below. Make sure you are on the YouTube page when you do this. Write your thing in below and list what you want to have read. Now, here I will show you your options. You can choose from one of these readings, the I Ching or the I Ching, the dice, if you would like a tarot reading, you can choose from one of these four decks. There's my uh, Old Faithful Rider weight Tarot deck. I have the Ghost Tarot. Here's the Tarot 13. That's what I was reading today. And this is the Thoth Tarot deck. Angels and Ancestors, number one. Runes, number two, and Native American Oracle Cards, number three. Madame and Dora's Fortune Cards, number four. Moonology, number five. And The Soul's Journey, number six. Archangel Oracle Cards, number seven. Past Life, number eight. And Botanical Inspirations, number nine. And lastly, we have the runes. Uh, I have the, the basic runes, and they're the El Elder Futhark is the actual name of them. And then I have the Wiccan runes. Just one reading per person, please. And choose wisely. So I hope you have a blessed Monday. And I need to clean this mess up. And please have those requests in by um, December 29th at midnight Eastern time. I still don't like this setup. Let's go back to the original one. All you have to do, write down what kind of reading you'd like. But make sure you say, I would like a reading. That's important. And it must say what kind of reading you want. And I will be releasing this on New Year's Day. So this will be your New Year's reading. All right. So peace.
believe, and bye-bye.